Shit my friend the eye and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Anwin for anyone who's new here and let's continue building in Planet Zoo. And like I said in the last episode, my goal now I have finished all of the habitats is to make this zoo feel like an actual zoo rather than a collection of habitats. So to start with, I built this gondola ride in the last episode and I finished the gondola ride not particularly happy with it and it didn't really go with the habitats at all. The habitats are quite detailed and themed specifically for each of the animals and everything's got like a water theme in it. This is the aquatic park zoo after all. And I started this calling it the year 3000. It still is the year 3000. So I decided to add more water in <laughs> to theme this up more with the whole zoo. I thought maybe the gondola ride could go over a river circling the whole park because the ride kind of showed how blank the rest of the map is. There's only four habitat animals and one exhibit animal with the aquatic park so the rest of the zoo is empty so I kind of wanted to build like a barrier to block the view block off the view of the rest of this map because it's so blank <laughs> basically so I want this to be like the end I want to pretend that we don't have any more map left otherwise I'm going to be tempted to build even more water related habitats <laughs> and there's not many more animals at the moment that do actually swim underwater properly there's only the saltwater crocodiles uh I don't think even the gharials don't really swim that deep. I don't think Planet Zoo has given them the ability yet. I don't know. I want to keep this park just aquatic park only really. So we want to cut off the view of the rest of the map so it doesn't look so blank. We want this to feel full and just small instead. I pulled out the roughen tool for the rocks because I was not spending all that time <laughs> placing rocks down. I just used the roughen tool and the rock terrain texture to create like a rocky area around the river. And my plan for the gondola stations are going to be lighthouse themed to go with the whole aquatic theme. Um, lighthouses are meant to show ships that they're gonna crash into rocks. So I wanted to give it like a rocky texture around the river one stop the whole map from looking so flat and the habitats which are not so flat kind of look a bit odd compared to the rest of the flat ground and go with the plan for the lighthouses. It probably could have taken me another 12 hours to place individual rocks to make this look all rocky uh, on the edges so the rough and tools saved me a lot of time. Then I wanted to line the river and the rocks with trees then to cut off the rest of the viewing area of the gondola rides. It also kind of makes it so guests can only really see the habitats because that's the point of this, isn't it? My whole goal in this zoo was to make the guests feel like they were under the water and now I just want them to be able to see the rest of the habitats. So I've blocked the rest of the view of the map off with trees and I used the trees that came with this map so they were all kind of the same all the way around and I am gonna theme the rest of like the inside of the zoo with 
the plants that go with the habitats. So I think I went for trees from North America because the trees in the map were um, had a North American tag on them but I just wanted to add in a few different trees in between the trees that came on the map uh, just to give it a little bit more texture and a few different colours just to pop them through so it didn't look like a giant block of just more green. Like I said in the last video I was not building this in a uh, an order <laughs> at all and it, I was just going to whatever I thought of next if that makes sense I kind of do the same when I build houses in the sims I just kind of do whatever comes to mind so I could be building like a kitchen one minute and then a bedroom the next upstairs like I don't really stick to one part of a house and it gets a little bit more obvious when I'm building in a giant zoo like this and I'm going around uh, the whole zoo and just kind of popping things here, there and everywhere. <laughs> so that's why I've kind of split the final videos up into more manageable videos or manageable watchable videos because I couldn't really follow along in the order I've done things so I've had to chop and change to make it all easier to watch and easier to follow so in the last one it was just building the gondola and in this one I'm gonna theme the whole zoo so you will see some sneak peeks of things that I'm gonna be posting next week I am gonna be doing planet zoo twice a week instead of once a week to finish this all off. The gondola ride has changed colour now. I've changed the colour of the gondola ride to match in with the theme of what's going to be the station buildings. <laughs> I know I'm going to be saying theme a lot uh, but I wanted to theme these water parts as well to fit in a little bit more with what the habitats looked like so we've got like a thinner winding river coming from the otters habitat and then by the seals beach habitat we've got like a bigger body of water and I will be playing around with the terrain and building the terrain up a little higher around that area too just to make it look a little bit more interesting for the gondola ride yes the habitats are super detailed so that's a nice thing to look at but the rest of the zoo being super blank is just not it doesn't go with the habitats at all so it doesn't look right <laughs> so that's why I wanted to theme like the outer edge of the zoo as well to what the habitats are. Can you imagine placing individual rocks around this area? <laughs> like this whole area. It's not like a massive zoo. There's only four habitat animals in it but I really think I would have doubled my 12 hours <laughs> just by placing individual rocks. The rough and tools the best and luckily the water enclosing the whole edge of the zoo is actually being cleaned by the water cleaning things <laughs> forgotten the name of them but it does actually keep the whole river boundary water clean as well because it's slightly touching it <laughs> i was really unhappy in the last video building this gondola ride and just filling it out with that water again I'm gonna mention theming <laughs> like really theming this out and so it does fit in better with the whole theme of the zoo adding in those trees to block the view of the rest of the zoo really like filled this in and made it feel like an actual zoo rather than just a collection of habitats just wanted to fill in some of the gaps between the paths and the stations and I've got like shops around there too which I will be showing a specific video for but I just wanted to 
theme the area to fit in more with the habitat so you can kind of guess if you're trying to get into that area you can guess from the back <laughs> which habitat is which and I might put in more signage and stuff on the backs of the buildings because I am gonna have I do have signs at the start of the habitats but not at the end so this is gonna be the last bit of water I add in and I'm gonna theme this part to be for the penguins because the penguins habitat is so small compared to the other habitats and you see the penguins the least. I wanted this whole like middle area here to be arctic themed and like snowy uh, to bring in the penguins a little bit more and I wanted this little loop to be a little bit more interesting to look at because it was really blank to start with <laughs> and I wanted to fill that in a little bit more with everything obviously adding in some more water too I want it to feel like maybe the buildings are built on top of water and then the water kind of flows through the whole park so once the guests are on the gondola ride they see water they see the habitats they still feel like they're in that like zoo uh, and it's not like a huge difference between like walking underwater and being in all those blue buildings with all of the water effects and stuff and i cheated a little because i used some pre-built frontier blueprints but i thought it fits in nicely anyway and I don't need to pre-build I don't need to build everything and the habitat shelters fit really nicely in this little area here it saved me individually placing rocks which I was super happy with <laughs> I don't mind individually placing rocks but because this zoo is just so big and there was just so much ground to fill I just gave up and used these pre-built shelters and got rid of the bedding and just made them like little rocky igloos and used the statues to of the penguins to sort of dot around like the penguins were climbing over the habitats they can't actually climb like that <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to add in a little extra detail and make this whole area arctic themed and penguin themed just so it's a little bit more interesting for the guests to walk around this area i have connected all of the paths together at the end so guests can kind of take the gondola ride and walk around the back area this bit isn't going to be covered i figured once they were at the back they've seen the habitat so it's okay for them not to be totally under the water and I have blocked off the view of the habitats themselves to still encourage guests to go in the underwater tunnels. Once I'd figured that I could add in more water and theme each area individually for the habitats this made me a lot happier <laughs> than when I finished off from the last episode after been building the gondola ride. I wasn't particularly happy with how it ended then. It was just plain and I'm glad I added in this river and the terrain around it with the trees blocking off the rest of the view. It really filled out the zoo instead of it looking plain and just habitats just thrown here there and everywhere like I kind of did <laughs> it's kind of filled it in a little bit more so I think we were a lot more successful in this episode with creating a zoo instead of a collection of habitats but I have so much more to do <laughs> like I said I spent 12 hours building this week and that obviously can't all be squished into one episode because that is just too much <laughs> we have lots more to do in the next episode next week we are going to be building the lighthouses and the station buildings so it's not this 
blank rectangle that guests just walk up to. We're gonna build them a building to go around the gondola stations and we're gonna theme those too! <laughs> Again with the theming! <laughs> uh, because they're gonna be lighthouses to go with the whole aquatic theme and like little houses next to the lighthouses. So we're gonna have the lighthouse tower and then the gondola station is gonna be like the little house that's attached to the lighthouse. So we're gonna have another nice little tour around the zoo or nice little ride around the gondola ride and see how much we've improved from last episode to this episode with all of the theming and now you can see that like guests can't really see the rest of the blank park or zoo like map uh, it feels a lot fuller now even though it's not really expanded at all it just feels fuller because we've blocked off that view of the rest of the map and that just flat area but yeah i'm gonna leave it off there uh, next week, like I said, we're going to be doing the lighthouse station building, so less like terrain editing, less like zoomed out whole map stuff. We're going to be focusing more on individual little buildings and I'm going to leave it off there. I think I've already said that. <laughs> And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already and you would like to, it would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Goodbye.